What's up, guys? We back on the grind, and today we are about to be opening up this 91 overall B and D playoffs player pack. But first, before we do that, I got I got to show y'all my team. So let's go to get into it for y'all. Be like, why are you picking this person? Why are you picking that person? So yeah, let's get into it, man. We are no money spent, by the way, but the team is looking absolutely phenomenal. We still got Sweet Feet out there, Trent Brown, you know Bruce Matthews. Can't wait to finally get an upgrade for Bruce. Alex Mack, he's actually is really good. Bill Freilich. As you can see, we are a Falcons fan, by the way, but we got 25 out of 30. We're not going to fully max out, you know, 30, uh, 35 or whatever the heck it is, however many tiers it is, because we do like to play with other players from different teams. But just having that plus one speed for us is all I need. And us being a Falcons fan, of course, we want to have Falcons. But anyway, Alshon Jeffrey, we got everybody on the, on defense. As you see right here, we got Ken the Rattler Riley. Um... Aline McNeil, thankfully, he finally gets inside stuff. Y'all go watch that gameplay I uploaded today on that. Brandon Graham, Devin Hester, Troy Palomalo, and Christian Harris, who we just got. This guy has been going crazy um, in the league this year, so good stuff on that. And, yeah, so as you see, this is our team, so you can see what we probably can get or what we're not going to get. So, anyway, let's go ahead and open this pack, man. I'm going to show the animation first, and then we're going to skip all the way through it, and then we're going to break everything down. So, ooh. All right, that's how the animation looks. And then make sure that once again, I'll right, just run all the way through it so everything open up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, anyway, we're going to start from the back right now. Jawan Taylor. Let's compare this, man. Let's see what's going on. Y'all love these type of videos, man. So like, subscribe. Hey, man, we, we here. So anyway, Jawan Taylor. We have a 93 overall chris hinton but comparing him to taylor it is actually not bad for a 91 overall card this card looks pretty decent to be honest but we do not need a right tackle so we're not going to get this man obviously so Jerron taylor he's kind of been mid over the years as far as like on an ultimate team he's probably great in real life but sometimes he has his moments where he's either great in the game or he's just trash but this year i think he'll be all right so anyway, strong safety. Y'all know we got Troy Palomalo. Palomalo, he's a 93 overall. This man is 6'3", though. Um, this Melanuo, however you want to say his name, they are actually, obviously, in the playoffs right now, the last uh, game of the NFC Championship. So 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 87 tackling. But when you compare the hit power, when you compare the zone, the man coverage, it's actually not that bad. It's, this card is another good card as well, but if you want a strong safety, I still think Troy Palomalo is the best strong safety in the game. But the fact that this guy has 6'3 and 91 man coverage, 90 zone, already with that threshold, this man is not bad. This man is not bad at all. So good stuff to him. But it's a no for me. Mitch Wendowski, I am not going to get a punter for this free card. And even comparing him, he does have 92 kick power. That's just plus one. But Thomas Morstead played for the Falcons, even though he's plays for the Jets now. So we're not going to do that. Even though I believe they're actually giving Morstead another card. Or something, something like that. Bradley Payne or something, a card. Patrick Rickard, which is funny. Uh, we still got this man, Adam Prentice, starting for us. And what's crazy, he's faster, one speed faster than Adam Prentice. He, has, he only has better awareness. He definitely has better run block and better lead block, better impact block, which is actually really good. But I am going to stick with this man. Adam Prentice, because if anything, if I was to get an upgrade, yeah, I'll play like, why do you, why you don't got Keith Smith? Because I believe Keith Smith's lead box was trash, and this guy is the only car that would probably be decent, if you really think about it, comparing to Adam Prentice. So if you do have a fullback that you need to upgrade, Patrick Ricard being 305 pounds is going to be great. So David Moore, I'm trying to, you know, breeze through this, but I want to let y'all know what's going on real quick. Um, let's see, 93 speed. Oh, I'm comparing to Tony G. Compare him to Julio Jones. Julio Jones completely dust him. He's only six feet. I wouldn't choose his card at all. David Moore is probably good, but I wouldn't choose his card at all. Um, David Montgomery. I believe he used to play for the Bears, right? When he, oh no, the Packers. When he used to play for them, that man was that man was nice. They was using him like Christian McCaffrey or something like that. But anyway, he has 93 truck, which is good. But comparing him to CP, man, he is not 
on this level, but comparing to Barry Sanders, obviously David Montgomery actually has it, man. So if y'all want another running back, I wouldn't take him, but I believe this guy is a good player. Mike Edwards, what is this, a fullback? What does he say? What is he? My bad. Free safety, okay. <laughs> Free safety, I, I thought I seen FB. So anyway, 5'10". Uh, Jesse Bates is 6'1". He's 5'10", 93 speed. Jesse Bates beats him in acceleration, tackling, play recognition, and plus one pursuit, plus one man coverage. But pretty much overall, I would roll with Jesse Bates. But I feel like a great free safety. If y'all go to Mud GG, shout out to them. And if a player has an ability called aggressive, I mean, a trait called aggressive, those are usually the best players when it comes to free safety. And, and yeah. So anyway, this dude I actually played against this guy. In the other video, I did not know who he was, but he's actually pretty decent playing against him. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He, he's a really underrated card because he does reach the thresholds with 90, 91s, but the threshold is 90. This dude is actually a good card. Even though he's 5'10", he plays well. So I will have to tell y'all, if you, you know, Packers team team, if you need somebody on the outside or the inside, this man is actually decent. But I will not be using mine on him. So anyway, let's go to the next. Khalil Shakir. We do not need any wide right receivers right now, but he is six feet comparing to Julio Jones. Julio Jones still does him. The 86 speed, I mean, 86 deep route, 91 mid, 91, 92 short, 83 spec. I don't know what the heck happened to Gabriel Davis, but I guess he's hurt or something right now because I'm surprised not to see him get a car. But I would not be choosing Khalil Shakir at all. Nick Bolton, there's so many middle linebackers in the game. Obviously, it's Ray Lewis. The Jack Campbell, or the Shannon Crowder. There is no reason why he should be choosing this car. But 91 speed is actually not bad. But Jack Campbell is faster than him. But as you can see, he has better block shed, better hit power, better tackling. So this man is not bad. Plus, if you had the playoff boost, it's probably not a bad choice. But for a free car, it's like you already have too many middle linebackers in the game. And he's 5'11", so good luck lurking. AJ Klein, if you need a, I guess he's a zone guy, right? Let me see, comparing him to Tavius Robinson while wow, he's actually he wants to be slower. But the player recognition being a 91 and 91 block shedding is amazing. I think that's really good. This is like a you know a pass guy. I actually like AJ Klein. I like Matt Milano a lot better, but this is not a bad card if you want a zone guy. Even though it says run stopper, but I thought he was played better in zone in my opinion. But this man, Brevin Jordan, let's see what he got going on. Compare him to Tony G. 82 strength. Why is he faster? Oh, well, he look, yeah, he looks slow. He like Algie Crumbler right there on that photo. I'm not even going to lie. 91 short is not bad, but 89 medium and 67 run block is kind of mid. Do the 6'3". I'm definitely sticking with Tony G. I'll even stick with Kyle Pitts over this guy. Let me actually compare him real quick to Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts, I mean, he's just two speed slower. He's a little weaker. Um, but he, obviously, look at it catching, catching traffic. Do not get this card. This dude catching is 88, 85 catching traffic. No, do not get him as a tight end at all. Tyler Higby, compare him to Tony G. Yeah, 94 spec. I like that. Is nice. I'm a huge fan of spec and Madden spec 94 spec. I'm already liking it, no matter what else this stuff is. I like this card already. Tyler Higby being a 6'6. Uh, 94 spec, 92 catching. This is a nice car right here. Obviously, he should have reached the threshold for the medium route running. That's the only downfall about this car. But that is freaking nice, man. If you was to choose a tight end from this, go with Tyler Higgins. Shaquille Leonard. This one aggravates me to the fullest, guys, because y'all know how to left outside linebacker Shaquille Leonard for the longest. I literally just got, I had that car since October 9th on my team. And I just got rid of him for Christian Harris, the playoff card, because I would have had this man Shaquille Leonard on the team, but they moved him to a middle linebacker so he does not get the same abilities. He would have been nice on the edge with 94 block jet and stuff like that. And 92 hit power, the 91 play recognition. I would have been running no outsiders on him and all kind of stuff, man. But they moved him to a middle linebacker, so it's a no for me, man. Kalaja Kanzi. I told y'all this man was going to be nice in the field. This man is a great player. This man is amazing. Like, 91 speed on the guy, 90 play recognition, 87 block shed, 74 power moves, 92 finesse. 
this guy is, is, is really good, man. He's really good. If you need a left hand on the team, compare him to that free Brandon Graham we got, who also plays great. This man is, is on the field. Me actually playing against him, this man is great. So the stat wise, you may be like, oh, I don't know, but I'm telling you, playing against him, he's great, and he gonna make some some good plays for you. But right now, Brandon Graham, you know, obviously he has the high overall, and looking at him, he has the better stats. So we are going to go with Brandon Graham still. So we're good when it comes to that. Now, Jackie is gonna come back to Tyron Smith. It's 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 I don't know. Hold on, let me come back to him too, man. I don't I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So Dre Greenlaw, we can't get him because he's not our guy, but six feet, ninety two speed, fifty three power moves, fifty nine finesse moves. He, I guess he's a straight cover guy because this is not good stats at all. But he actually does have a limited right now in the game. That's probably why. So I would not even go with this one because he has another upgrade. So don't waste your time on this. Xavier Howard, I always like Xavier Howard. I actually thought he was a zone guy, not a man guy. But comparing him. That 88 is on. They, they did them very dirty. 87 press. Do not get this card at all. They did this card very, very dirty. I know you can get like plus three man or plus four man. But having that 88 zone at this stage in what they did him very dirty, man. That's trash. Well, Petonio, if you have Bruce Matthews, I say don't get him. Only because of the overall situation, maybe. And it's only like just a, a minimal upgrade. You know what I'm saying? They all reached the tier. So I say don't do it. If you don't have a left guard, if you never got a chance to get Bruce Matthews, get him. But if you don't, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, Denzel Perryman, 5'11", 90 speed, 87 excel. This dude compared to Tavis Robinson from the Blitz program. Tavis Robinson is better than him. So it's like don't go for this man, Perry, uh, Denzel Perryman at all. Burk is about, skin, about dead skin league. Scandling, scan, scandling, what the heck? Anyway, 93 speed for him. Why do you keep doing Tony like that? Look, Julio Jones is still better than this man. Odell Beckham is still better than this man. He's 6'4", though, which is great. You can also with the guy, but he only has 89 spec, which is trash. But he does have 90 short, 91 medium, and 90 deep, which is good. But that catching traffic and 87 catching at this point at 89 spec is trash. That is the only thing holding him down. Do not do that. Maybe unless you're playing like some new house rules and you know you gotta put somebody in the lineup. But other than that, no, don't do it. This guy, what the heck is this guy again? Spencer Brown. I, I'm thinking about the uh, the actor for Spencer Browning or something like that from the old uh, movies. Anyway, right tackle, 91 overall. Comparing him to Chris Hinton, I'd rather you go with Jawan Taylor over this guy. Because, as you see, he only has 89 pass block finesse and 88 run block finesse. So, that's a no for me. So, Isaiah Likely. I actually played against this card as well. This card is freaking insane. This card is insane. Stat-wise, it does not look good. But, for some reason, this dude is extra shifty. And, he has better run block than the Tony G. But, if you have Jordan Reed, which I actually do not have this man in the lineup lineup. But, I probably should put him in the lineup. Uh, 92 speed. This man is not that guy. So, Isaiah Likely, unless you got a Ravens team, team, no. So, it's between these two guys right here, man. All right, let's compare. Left tackle. It's going to be between Trent Brown and Sweet Feet. So, comparing them, as you see right here, that run block power, it's a 90 right here. It's a 91. Boom. It's a 93, 87. And comparing to Trent Brown, who actually does not start for us, he blows him out the water. So, anyway, Sweet Feet is going to stay on the team because of his boost. So, it's going to be between Tyron Smith or John Kaminsky. Because John Kaminsky, by the way, he used to play for the Falcons. So, this man would have 91 speed on my team. And he would have all that play recognition boost and all this other stuff. So, comparing him to Calais Campbell. This will be a huge upgrade. So 90 speed, to, excuse me, I'm at the 79 to 87 acceleration to 92 uh, strength, which is crazy to think that even that Calais Campbell had an 86 strength car is insane. I believe he's a lot stronger than that. But play recognition, the block shatter, the 90 power moves, and he'll still have the same finesse. John Kaminsky, 
I feel like will be the move for us. I believe we can always get other linemen. Um, but right now, John Kaminsky, I'm going to have to go with John Kaminsky, man. So anyway, let's go ahead and get John Kaminsky. A left tackle would be nice, but John Kaminsky it is. Because we're going to need that speed and we're going to need, you know, somebody faster right now. So Sam Williams, we probably remove this guy from the lineup. Because we about to have another playoff card anyway. So what we can do is we can put Calais Campbell right here. No, you know, let me do it like this. So we can be in the whole lineup. Yep. Entire lineup. Boom. And then we can put Calais Camel right here. So we can still... Dang, which one we had? I might have to see which one we had because I ain't trying to use a new one or whatever. And then we'll see how that goes. I'm a little funny, yeah, so hold on. <laughs> That's and this one like quick sell. Yeah, we can quick sell this one. I think it was like some free card. So yeah, let me just quick sell it. Get some training. We may need some training anyway to upgrade this man, John Kaminsky. I don't even forget a free ability or not. But let's go ahead and get it. We go to line up. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. We about to go ahead and fix this lineup real quick. And we're going to put this Spanish Calais camera right here at the back up. And we are about to change this man, John Kaminsky, who's going to probably even get boosted even crazier. I believe he played for the Falcons now. Come on now. Yeah. That Falcons boost. Boom. And what did he get? Not bad for his abilities, interior threat, but he's going to be on the outside. El Toro, which is very interesting. He does not get any discount abilities from what I see. But nice. And for his X Factors, yeah. Front card art. So he's still a 92 overall. But our defense line is looking crazy. It's looking very crazy. And then the next level up will be Chris Jones. So Aaron Donald, as much as I like him, he may get demoted. We may sell him. I like Aaron Donald. But, you know. So anyway, let's take a look at this man's card with all of the boost. I actually look at like looking at the other way. Hold on. Let me do it like this. Alright, compare him to Calais Camel. So now he has 91 speed, 88 acceleration, 93 strength, 88 tackling, 87 play rate, 92 block shed, 95 moves, and now 75 finesse. So he actually reached the next tier for finesse just by coming up in there. So 95, 91 speed is crazy with 6.5. 93 strength is going to be insane, man. So I'm very excited to see what's going on. Um, anyway, I don't know. Should we take out Brandon Graham and like give off, take off Brandon Graham stuff and give it to John Kaminsky? We'll see how that goes, man. Anyway, and should we take off Jack Campbell stuff? I don't know. But anyway, see y'all at the next one. Y'all like, subscribe. Hey, man, we on the road to doing something great here on YouTube. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. We out. Like the video.